with breaking news this hour. A suspected terror attack has rocked central Tel Aviv, leaving more than a dozen people injured in a bus explosion. And let's now get the latest from RT's Paula Slier. She's in Tel Aviv at the moment. Hello, Paula. A lot of uncertainty here, with some sources saying 10 people have been injured, some say as many as 20. Reports say it happened near army headquarters. So update us on what's happening in Tel Aviv right now. Well, the bus explosion happened around 20 minutes ago, not far from our offices here in Tel Aviv. We have constantly been hearing the ambulances screeching past. There are police helicopters hovering in the area, and the, all the streets around here have been cordoned off. Now, the figures we have are that 16 people have been injured. These are figures that were released to us by the nearby hospital. Of these, two are in a serious but not life-threatening situation, and three are in a moderate state. There is a manhunt underway for at least two people. The information we're receiving is that a person placed a bomb inside a bag either on the bus or near the bus and then ran away with a second person so that and now we are able to bring back Paula Slier from Tel Aviv now Paula conflicting reports about the blast in Tel Aviv just uh, a while ago please tell us more about that well, the communication lines here keep dropping. There's massive confusion and hysteria in terms of what has happened. In the last 20 minutes or so, there was a suicide bus bombing. It happened just a short distance from where our studios are. We constantly are hearing the ambulances screeching past. We can confirm that the figures released from a nearby hospital that has received all the victims stands at 16. We're also hearing from the police that a manhunt is underway. They're searching for two people. From the information they're giving us, they understand that one person placed a bag with a bomb either on the bus or near the bus and then ran away so the manhunt is looking for them all the roads in this area have been cordoned off there's a massive sense of hysteria and confusion this comes as peace talks are underway both here in Israel and in Cairo to try and reach some kind of agreement between Israel and Hamas and no doubt this is now going to torpedo those talks in fact the latest word from the Israeli government before this bus bombing happened was that they were looking at a 24-hour lull period to assess just how serious Hamas was about negotiating a ceasefire deal with Israel. And in this respect, we are now hearing reports out of Gaza that there are celebrations and dancing as the news of the suicide bombing filters through. In fact, Hamas allegedly has announced on loudspeakers in mosques in Gaza that it is responsible for this suicide attack, calling it a victory from God. Now, if we are able to verify those reports. It will indeed send out a message to people here in Israel that Hamas is not serious about any kind of peace. And this then begs the big question as to whether or not an Israeli ground invasion into Gaza is next. Paula Slea, live. Thank you very much indeed, Paula. هذه مشاهد للإصابات إن شاء الله عما قريب سنرى أكياس سوداء أدعو الله سبحانه وتعالى أن نرى أكياس سوداء بعد قليل هذه مشاهد للإصابات الصهيونية حتى اللحظة الآن في هذه الأثناء مساجد قطاع غزة ترتفع مآذنها بالتكبير والتهليل والأهالي في قطاع غزة ينزلون لله سجودا على هذا العطاء معنويات أهل غزة في السماء الآن ترتفع كما ترتفع صواريخ المقاومة